Good morning. Welcome to FireHallSoup.com. Uh, today we're going to make a French onion soup. My uh, sister and brother-in-law asked me if I'd make some soup, uh, some onion soup for them if they brought all the ingredients. So right now I'm just cleaning up some onions. I wish they were a little bit bigger, but as you can see, um, I have quite a few of them, so it's going to be a little bit of work, but uh, we'll get there. Alright, so this is our basic ingredients. Uh, as you can see, we have some beef uh, soup base. We have a steak, we have uh, garlic, onions, butter, and wine. And it doesn't have to be a steak. It can be leftover roast beef. It can be whatever kind of beef you can grab at the store. Just uh, whatever you have at hand and, uh, and you can, it's very versatile. Okay, the wine doesn't have to be expensive. It can just be a cheap uh, table wine and just going to be putting in about 8 ounces of it at the end. Um, your meats, it doesn't have to be an expensive cut of meat because it's going to be into the soup and it's going to simmer and it's going to be very tender at the end. Onions, you can use any type of onion. Uh, I don't like to use all red onions, but I will put some in occasionally. Uh, these onions are fairly small, as you can see, but a big Spanish onion makes work a lot easier. So, but today we're going to be using these and uh, you'll see the progress. Now, I have already fried the steak and uh, in this frying pan where the steak was, I put some water in to grab all the juices and that that we'll use later to add flavor to the soup. Okay, so we're going to start off and we put enough butter in to cover the bottom of the pan. And then we're going to saute our onions and garlic. Okay, what I've done with these onions is, as you can see, I've uh, peeled them at this point and what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to slice them. Now you can either slice them with your knife or you can, if you have a food processor, you can use it that way. But once they're all sliced, we'll put them in the pan and like I said, we'll saute them or make them sweat. And uh, we'll show you pictures of that so that uh, it all works out. Okay, now I'd like to add some fresh black pepper. Now, if you don't have the uh, grinder, it's okay, just use regular pepper out of the pepper shaker. And I do a generous amount, uh, but again, it's to your flavoring and to your liking. And we'll check it later on. So you just uh, crush up your garlic and add it. Okay, this uh, now we're just going to start it to let it simmer and sweat. Uh, it may look like a lot of onions, but it will render down quite a bit. Here. I have quite a bit of onions there, so I'm going to add some, a little bit more butter there just so that nothing sticks and we get to sauteing it. So as you can see, we're rendering down the onions. What you don't want the onions to do is to brown at all. You want them to stay uh, white, but limp. And so here we are, we're pretty good, and now we're going to add our beef. Now, you don't necessarily have to add beef if you don't want. Um, you could have a vegetarian onion soup, which is very good also. But uh, we had this, so we're going to make it with that. Now we're just going to throw it in, stir it all up, and then we're going to be adding our broth. Remember that steak we had fried at the very beginning? Well, I took and put some water in there, so in the pan, to get all the drippings. And uh, now I'm going to pour that in because there's lots of good flavor in there. And you see, there's no more drippings, no more chips in the bottom of the pan. Okay, now we're going to add the broth. Now, um, you're going to have to do this to your own taste. You can make the broth according to directions and that. But uh, when you're making a large pot like this, don't overpower it. Uh, don't put too much broth in at the, at the beginning because it could be salty. Look for the low sodium brand if you can get it. And um, do it. And then uh, we're going to be adding some more water to this, just water. And then we'll check our taste every once in a while just to make sure that it's uh, the right taste for us. And you do the same. If that last part was a little confusing, <laughs> what I meant to say is, Bake the broth according to the directions, and uh, we use a powder broth, the low sodium, and make it so that it's not too salty for you. Um, go under instead of over is what I'm trying to say, and then uh, add it to your soup. And then uh, we are going to add more water now to dilute it a bit more, um, and just we're going to make it to our own taste. Uh, we may have to add more powder later just to uh, give it more beef flavor, but we'll see. So we're going to add another uh, eight cups of water or broth uh, into the soup. So for them two bags that, uh, of onions that we did, it's now 24 cups of uh, mixture chicken broth and water. 
And again, always make sure you taste your soup first before you put any broth and uh, any more spices in. And I don't use any salt in this because I figure there's enough salt in the uh, in the broth. So. Okay, we found it, uh, even though I added that last eight cups of broth, uh, that it was still pretty thick with onions. So we added another eight cups, and now we're going to bring it to a slow simmer. And we don't want it to really boil hard, just a slow simmer, so we'll just keep our eyes on it. Okay, it's at a slow simmer now, and we're just going to let that go probably for half an hour to 45 minutes, and we'll just keep watching it and uh, watching the onions render down. And then we'll give it a taste once in a while and see if it needs any added ingredients. Okay, this is the uh, last of our ingredients for now, is the red wine. And uh, if you don't have red wine, uh, you can use white wine. Or if you don't want any wine at all, you don't have to. So, just going to pour it in there and then we'll stir it up. Well, folks, we've let it simmer for 45 minutes now and we've tasted it and it's just the way we want it. So. We'll let it cool now and then uh, we'll package some and freeze some and we'll have some for supper. I hope you enjoyed our segment and join us again at firehallsoup. Nope, firehallsoup.com. Okay, I'm just uh, putting some of the onion soup now into these little soup bowls, onion soup bowls, and we're going to make up a, a nice dish. can be a little messy, but this one seems to be going pretty good. Okay, now there's several ways you can go with this. You can have an old crusty bread to put it on top. You can have garlic bread on top. It's whatever you choose. Uh, right here we got some uh, baguettes, uh, garlic parmesan, and we're going to throw a few of those in each to fill them up. Uh, there. Uh, what did I go? I've got six in that one. And we're going to do the same in the next one, here, this will add some flavor to it, and uh, it's just a different, different way of doing it, you can do it whatever way you like. Now we bought some uh, provolone cheese, and um, you can use provolone, you can use mozzarella. These are already sliced in the circle, and I'm going to have to take it a little bit and make it fit on top. Here, see what I do. See. It's pretty good. And then we're going to put it in the oven to broil. Throw some of this on here just to fill it up. spots there and this is going to be delicious so now we're going to put them in the oven to broil and we're just going to watch them okay and now we're just going to put them in the oven to broil this shouldn't take too long but we'll watch them and just uh, watch them bubbles up and it's ready for about seven minutes now and it's coming out nicely brown oh, perfect looks very appetizing and so we're gonna have our French onion soup tonight with some fresh vegetables some fresh cucumbers and tomatoes and uh, and we're gonna enjoy well, thank you for joining us at firehallsoups.com, and we'll be back again with another soup or some other quick and easy recipe for you.